Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Ben the Human Plays Exogate Initiative. I think these two are trapped here forever. We could, uh, we have enough exonium to start crafting light exosuits. So I'm gonna actually, uh, uh, assign that to Ashley Miller so she stops staring at the inside of Beatrice's skull. But I've tried, like, everything to get these two to stop trying to enter the gate. And, uh, nothing has worked. So, I think the only way to get rid of them, unfortunately, is to fire them. <laughs> it's because it's, it says stuck entering the exogate. I don't know if, I don't think there's a way. I've saved and reloaded. I've closed the whole game. I don't know, man. I, d I just don't think there's a way around it. It's, uh, Samuel Becker, not a big deal. He's only a level two. Beatriz having to leave at a level six is a little rough, but... I, I, I have not been able to find a way to fix it, so unfortunate, but that is a game in early access sometimes. So, time to replace the two of them. Let's go for a bit of a lower salary so they can go on our... I want to get like nine days and I want to get four candidates and then try to... Uh, just hire two of them. I don't mind if they're a bit of a lower level coming into the into the gate, because then they'll just put them on Firefox Go, and then they'll be, you know, relatively okay. Benjamin Wright, that's right. I don't even know where he is. These guys are all shaken up. I don't know what happened. I can't remember. It's been a while. <laughs> Oh, these poor people working for an absent-minded boss. Now, we would like to expand our armory. I know we talked about this last episode. Because right now we could... We have eight exo light exosuit berths, essentially. And then this will allow us to build... At least four more. And then we could even put some down the middle. You could end up with, like nine of the heavies if you really wanted but i don't think we we need that many we should send in our crews though our map is getting wild we're fairly close to the scarb homeworld which is kind of wild but let's see why don't we send in we're still working on the the cultural study so why don't we send angel squad again to that and then we could come back here. Oh, we've, have we finished this? All done? I'm not sure. So we could claim that. We must have finished. Oh, yeah, yeah. Defense against aliens complete. Good job, military squad. Proud of you. <laughs> uh, B Noble suggested bringing a medic along with the, the the soldier squad, and I was like, never. We haven't discovered this alien over here. Oh. Okay. Well, why don't we connect here and find a new alien friend? We got X-Ray Alpha. Angel Squad's going to go meet with the other team. No difficulty. All right, we should probably send a... Uh, the team that, like, could benefit a little bit from it, even though it's easy for them. Oh, it requires a scholar. Oh, uh, okay, never mind, never mind. We will we'll send Angel Squad to that place as well once they're back, and, uh... Might as well disconnect from that one, then. And this one, and that one. Unknown. That one also needs a suit. This planet is weird, because we, even when I disconnect from it, it looks like it's still connected, so that one confuses me. Another planet with an alien life form. I would love to get a recruitable alien. Where were the frog people? Ah, here they are. Well, we're on the way to cultural acceptance there, but we should finish this one first. We're, like, running out of things to do. We could do this one. Get an artifact out of it. Cyber team, not a good option. Alpha squad. X-ray alpha, off you go. Good luck. Alright, angel squad's in there. X-ray's going in there. 
Do you think we have the capa- we have the capability? Do we- do we have, like, the... The power to send... Toxic fog! What? I didn't sign up for this. Why don't we try to send Saturn V as well? I think it's been a while since we've sent, like, any of our teams into the Exogate. Yeah, most of them were all ready to go. Saturn V Lee was just a little hungry, but she's getting getting her dinner right now. We got a bunch of other teams going through the Exogate anyway. So you'll probably have to wait your turn. Ashley, did you craft this thing? You must have. Is there a suit over here? Sure is. Oh, how cool. I wonder, do your people automatically equip suits as needed? We have 606 research, holy crap. I guess what you dump it all into at the end of the day is the exosuit upgrades, huh? We don't need the nap pod, I'm not interested. We could get the super generator. It's interesting, but we did just build a whole room dedicated to power production. So we don't really need the super generator just yet. The builders are an interesting idea. The bedrock would probably be the most useful one, honestly. Operations. I would love the alien gator recruitment console, but I don't think we have... We don't have a, an alien we can recruit yet. The intensive care unit is also interesting. And the, the, the training room stuff is, is interesting as well, because just like better body and mental attributes, mind strength, and logic. You know what? Why don't we start getting a better training room? We've had this fairly large training room for a long time, and I've never... I've never, like, really utilized it. We could even expand it out, like, a little further. Why don't we do that? And I can, like, move you guys over a little bit, and then we could put some treadmills in there or something. Going on through. Where's X-Ray Alpha at? Saturn V already has something to tell me. We found a multicolored crystal quarry. No sign of anomalies, but you lost mental health? Excuse me? Describe the crystals multicolored. How did you end up there? Uh, describe the crystals. Shiny and rhombus shapes stacked in groups. They are vibrating slightly and emitting subtle high-pitched sounds. So, what are the orders? Uh, extract a crystal? Didn't work. Copy that. Done. Well, they did it. I don't know. <laughs> Good job. They failed the, the check, but they did get the sample. I don't know what that means. Oh, we have scientists for hire. Holy crap. We've been, we've been sitting on the scientists forever. All right, they all make roughly the same amount of money, except for Alex costs a little more, Andreas costs a little less. And then we have kind of like scattered abilities here. I feel like knowledge and logic are the highest priority for scientists. Social, not so much. Maybe perception as well. I think I'm leaning towards hiring Zan Lu and Brian Allen. Let's do it. You two are on board. Zan Lin. I don't know why it said. I thought it said Lu. <laughs> uh, so Zan Lin and Brian Allen and Ben Wright are now the new Firefox Go. Now we should set up a good scientific potential reoccurring meeting M meeting <laughs> mission <laughs> i've had to set up too many recurring meetings for work ah here's a great place high potential no threat detected let's do it firefox go 10 days seems to be a good cadence and then off you go invasion begins in 10 days well that's fine firefox go isn't necessary for that and Alpha is going in right now. 
So I'm hoping that Ivy and Co. are back in time for invasion. They will be back in six days? Yeah, they'll be fine. And Angel Squad and Saturn V are already coming back. We've got another data pack. All good. And then Saturn V should be coming back with a... With whatever this is. Oh no! The crystal we took from the quarry while well, it has necrosed. Well, which means it was alive somehow. We could get more information if we return to the quarry. Could be dangerous. Why would they like ignore me if I, I tell them? Could be dangerous. But we're already on our way. Oh man. Wait, what? <laughs> what happened? Saturn V? I'm 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 a little suspicious. After that mushroom incident we had where they almost got They almost got absorbed by the mushroom. I'm I'm a little suspicious. Let's let's assign Alves to craft another light exosuit for me. He's he's finally gotten over his depression. And by gotten over, I mean like probably been treated for it because that's what you should do. <laughs> yeah, it's just like he's he's depressed. Just go lie in the bed there for a bit. I'll jam you with a poker in a bit. Hey, more exonium. That's great news. Uh where am I? Hold on, Saturn V has something to say. You'll never believe it! We found the quarry again and it's completely empty. No crystals anywhere. Our best guess is those weren't crystals at all, but animals, and we killed one! What's that? Oh, man, wait, it's still alive! Quick help it? Aw, oh, crap, we don't have a medic. Gather data while you can, put an end to its misery. Gather the data. You did your best. We're scientists, we should be comfortable with that, but I'm not. Get some rest. Yeah, I just need some time. Take all the time you need. What's next? End the mission. Uh, there we go. Leah is freaking out. She's having a great time. Considering she said she was, like, shaken up by having a... A death on her conscience. It's actually kind of funny. <laughs> Oh, man. I'm a terrible person. Let's see. Where's the training room? Oh, right there. I've been mousing over it like four times. Oh, extra alphas here. Oh, no! One of your gators has a psychological... The, it, it, Ashley Miller has, a, has manifested craziness. Miller connected an instrument to their brain and we can't remove it. What, like a guitar? To their brain? How? It's a machine that looks like a mechanical octopus. They stuck one of its needle arms into the back of their head. They're alive, but they aren't responding. What are we going to do? There has to be a switch somewhere. We've critically succeeded. Oh, yes, I see it. Hey, one of the scissors arms attacked me, but I got the switch. Can you hear me, Ashley? They look good. The device is shutting down. They want to talk to you. I'm here, Miller. Ex oh, that was one heck of a trip. I don't think this tool is designed for humans. You're telling me? It's some sort of tailoring device, but I was more interested in the manufacturing capabilities of those man mechanical arms. See the medic? I don't have a medic. Your teammates are here to talk if you need them. Didn't work. I'm not sure I can even articulate what I saw. It was like the worst fever dream. I think I'll be okay now, but I'm not leaving without the tool. It might not be the Swiss Army laser cutter I was hoping for, but it's a precious alien artifact worthy of preservation. Just don't plug it back into your brain. Engineers work best when they can think straight. And Exos, too. She's been injured, but we gained an, an artifact. I'm liking our, our growing collection of things. This is like a robot head, a cool helmet, and a brain in a jar. And then Ashley's got something to drop off. Grace, are you stuck taking ore to storage? We have so much storage, but for some reason, the ore storage doesn't seem to work properly. I guess I will assign Grace to here, and that should, like, knock her out of it. Maybe not. Apparently not. I guess the way 
when it fixed itself before. Brian, you got yourself injured? You absolute goober. That's fine. The way it fixed it before was the the exonium uh was fully processed, and then they were able to put the ore directly into the foundry. But for some reason, like all this storage I have doesn't really work. And I'm not sure why. All right, here come the bugs. One of them got passed. Team, get over there. Don't. Oh, the two of them did. They were. They were like uh, Matryoshka. Blast them. There we go. Good job, team. Maybe we should move these guard posts a little closer, huh? I think what might be happening is they're. They're only engaging with the soldiers that are, like, close enough to shoot. And then they're not actually shooting at the, the bugs, and then they just kind of walk on by. We've got a lot of a lot of wounded soldiers. Ashley's got a brain problem from being, from being punctured in the head by an artifact. <laughs> let's assign a data pack. Oh, we have a... Uh, let's continue on the Cowcraw. And then the bleak a, I think those are the the frogs, right? Correct? Yes. Ah, you can't gather gather more data packs while uh, you have a data pack already in in process. More exonium is flowing in. We've got two three exosuits now. We got five to go. Not enough ma- Oh, we need more maglum. Okay. Well, we should build another storage thing, because this thing only holds five exonium anyway. Let's get another one of you. And then, uh, we'll, we'll swap Omega Bravo around to go get some more maglum. Because you have, uh, Asteril. And you have exonium in there. So we should probably be getting... At least one more exonium out of what we got, if not more. So let's, yeah, let's go ahead and swap this around now. Where, here we go. Unassigned mining team. Assigned mining team. Omega Bravo. Validate. Have at it, team. Still studying the data pack, I assume. X-Ray Alpha just got back. Saturn V got back a little before them. But I don't know... Honestly, we could go out here if we've got the energy. Oh, that that's a... That's a gas planet. We're running out of places to go that don't need uh, uh, suits. So we might want to start thinking about upgrading the suits to be able to deal with some of these environmental hazards so like the toxic rain this one has toxic fog soiled atmosphere what are these ones ho oh, acid atmosphere level five that one might need heavy suits no just light suits still what do you need a heavy suit for if you don't need it for acid fog no atmosphere that one you just need a space suit <laughs> like oxygen yeah air recycling <laughs> That one seems less dangerous than some of these other ones. No atmosphere is just like you're in a vacuum. Wind storms, it's just windy. <laughs> that one's actually a prime candidate because we have three light exosuits. And do we have air filtering? Let's double check. We sure do. Ballast, headlight, air recycling, acid resistance, electrical impact. All right. Maybe heavy is for like water and lava. I don't know. It's like the the suit uh, the suits. It's like the tunics that Link gets in Legend of Zelda, the blue and red tunic for for the volcano and underwater. Uh, we're at five ninety four. Let's let's get some more capabilities for our our exo suits here. And I like the idea of sending uh, Alpha or maybe Saturn five. Medium. Yeah, let's send Saturn five. No exosuit assigned. Ah, I manually assigned the exosuits. Very interesting. All right, we've done it. 
Lee is once again too tired to go on the mission. Well, sorry to hear that, Lee. <laughs> she didn't eat her dinner. She didn't get her her uh, her night her good rest. How are patents coming along? Oh God, we're way behind on our bioweapon research. Here, pl plunk that all in there. Start writing. Anything else that was overly, overly, overly theoried? Doesn't look like it. it was just the the bioweapon was over over the top. All right, Firefox goes going back into the gate. I really want to pay attention to when these guys go over here and grab their suits. I just want to watch it happen. How's the studies going? Books must be stored. Do we need more books to to research the the thing? Oh, now Omega, Omega Bravo's going in? It's a busy day. Maybe we need more books? How do I tell? Oh! Oh, wait. I thought they were putting a suit on. There they go. All right, Leah Johnson, Lee Liang, and Kamal Sharma are going to get their suits. I'm going to watch this. Very interesting. Oh, what a noise. Was that the door? Oh, they just kind of pop into them. Boop. <laughs> they look cool, though. I love the I love the exosuit. Very neat. Gathering up. All right, ready to go. Siren. There they go. I feel like this should have been standard practice from the get-go. Like, how would we know they were stepping out into a... I guess we sent probes first. Is that We don't really do that in-game, but, but they talk about how probes show up or go to the planets first. I guess that's how we know what's on the other side of the gate. Just very funny to imagine. Whoa! Ben, Brian, you need to, to re-examine your workplace habits, man. You're getting injured too far, too many times on, on the job. That's okay. He's the only wounded guy, so we can, we can deal with that. Saturn V has gone on our first exosuit mission. It's very cool. Now, we don't have enough maglum for this. They brought back one bit of maglum? And one guy got injured? Now who needs to re-examine their, their workplace safety? Good grief. Alright. Let's let's reconfigure the training room while we're waiting for Saturn V to check in. Or maybe just finish the mission. I'm not sure. Uh, we'll let Ashley finish her, her workout routine before I start swapping stuff around on him. Do like that. We'll throw another another dumbbell in there. Move this guy. Cool. Looking like a workout room. Very cool. We still have 420 science. So why don't we go ahead and give him a headlight? Seems good. Seems like a useful thing in dark places. He was starving? Just bring a bring a candy bar or something with you, man. Hey, we got a single sample. And some science just for going. All right, very cool. It was kind of a, I wouldn't say a, a downer, but nothing interesting happened. I guess it probably was just one of these things. I should look at, oh, cool. An, a, a planet that needs exosuits and has aliens on it. I would love to see an exosuit planet that has the uh, unknown event happening. But it doesn't look like there are any. They're either science ones or material or, or alien. Huh. We could go all the way to the Scar base. I don't really want to, though. This one's a level four. I'm curious. Why don't we send... Why don't we send Angel Squad? Oh, hold on. We need to hold off for a second. These these guys have to drop off their suits. 
I understand. Okay, suits dropped off. Time to send Angel Squad in. Oh, whoops. Manage team. Grab a suit. Grab a suit. Grab a suit. All right. You, you all, it's a good thing you're all the exact same size as each other. We can just swap suits out interchangeably for <laughs> between the different team members. That's part of our onboarding process. When we hire you, you're like, what are your measurements? They have to be, they have to fit this exact dimension. <laughs> uh, all right, let's expand out the lunchroom. It's getting a little busier in here. And basically, all I'm planning on doing is just shifting everything over and then adding four more tables in the middle here. I might actually reconfigure this a little bit and put some tables along the wall. The food seems to be okay. Like, we're, we're, we have enough food to satisfy everybody, and then it's getting, like, recycled quick enough that they'll get more food. So we haven't explored this guy. It's a level 7. This is a level 8. Hmm. We have 225 power, so we should probably think about building some more energy. So we need a little access corridor there. Right? Did I do this all wrong? Hold on. I think I might have measured this incorrectly. You know, there isn't really any reason I couldn't stack these next to the wall. Because I think you can still repair them from the side. You don't need to interact with them from the front. But that's fine for now. And honestly, we'll probably replace them with the super generator eventually. Let's go for the logic box. Sounds kind of ominous when you think about it. You are locked in this box until you solve logic puzzles. If you don't solve them, you never get out. Oh, Angel Squad's checking in. XO, this is Muller reporting from the Angel Squad mission on AA234. Something odd, there's a strange whistling or chirping sound, barely audible, coming from behind this pebble, but there's nothing there. I only heard it because I knelt down to tie my bootlace. Like a bird? Are you sure it's not the wind? Like a bird? <laughs> no, it's smaller, I think. Judging from the pitch of the sound, not even a hummingbird sounds like this. Do hummingbirds make noise? Maybe you're hearing things? Could the equipment help? Perhaps. What would you advise? Use your sniper scope! Use a visor and increase magnification. Put your ear to the ground! No, you're a scientist. Be a scientist. Good idea. Give me a little time. What do you see? There are tiny people down there beside the pebble. I can just... It's like Horton hears a who? <clears throat> I can just make out enough detail at maximum magnification to see that they're humanoid with, I think, two pairs of arms and legs. Somehow they're speaking English. I got closer to them and they say, Stop staring at us and do something, you moron, while waving their arms profusely. How is that possible? I don't know. Record this on video. <laughs> they need to work on their first contact etiquette. No, record it. Ah, they succeeded in recording. Wow, they all leveled up. I got a recording as best I could. It's hard with the subject so tiny. In the part I recorded, they said, No, actually, I can't repeat what they said. You'll have to hear it for yourself. Well done. At least it gives us something to go on next time. Yes, I hope we meet these people again. I think their bark might be worse than their bite. And I think they might need our assistance. They did say, do something, you idiot. And then you proceeded to film them. <laughs> Can you imagine being in a dangerous situation? And you're like, please help me. And you're like, hold on. I gotta, I gotta get this on camera. Actually, I feel like that's happened in real life. Camera phones. We have enough uh, material to make another exosuit. Looks like Omega Bravo's going back in. And I think we have just enough time to send X-Ray Alpha on a mission, which would be kind of fun. Do we, did we, have we explored all the non-exosuit planets? Well, that one's an alien planet, so we need a scholar for that one. This one's a level 8, which kind of spooks me. 
So, so does that one. That one's a level seven. Seven, nine, six. Six with exosuits, we can definitely do. So let's create a mission. Get a suit for everybody. And start the mission. I'm, I'm liking the exosuits, it's kind of cool. We have 313 science. Ben Wright's freaking out. Did you finish? You haven't finished. All right, Ben, I'm going to I'm going to do the thing. I released you from your prison. Uh-oh. He's back. Oh, Ben, you dumb you dumb fool. Oh, he's in. He made it. <laughs> he had to approach the the keyboard very carefully there. The, the glitches in this game are a little goofy. Right, no, no, not enough theories for new patents. But Firefox Go should be going in soonish. I think once X-Ray Alpha gets all their suits on. Yeah, that's a good place for the suits to exist. It, it, I, honestly, it'd be nicer if they were a little closer. But the way I built everything out, I guess I could put them here. And then just swap rooms? It's not a bad idea. Maybe I will do that. Because this thing doesn't really do anything. Like, you could be... you. This could be anywhere in the base. So, yeah, maybe we start doing that. Can I Can I just, like, swap rooms? I've never changed rooms before. Oh! Yes, all three of you brought things back. One of you is stressed and one of you is injured, but at least you brought a bunch of ore back. Let's see, armory... Can I unassign things? Build new wall. Oh, you can build walls. I didn't know that. I was operating under the uh, the assumption if I destroyed any wall, I would be screwed. Oh, a new invasion in 10 days? All right. Well, let's pause the episode there. It's going to take a little longer to, for X-Ray Alpha to get back than I thought it would. If you guys enjoyed the episode, click the like button. It helps me out a lot. If you want to see more Exogate Initiative or the other videos I have going on on the channel, subscribe to the channel. That also helps me out a lot. But until next time, everybody, I hope you have a good one, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye, everybody!